You know, with the Beatles' official breakup in the early 1970s, John Lennon and Paul McCartney were relying a lot on their music to get them through, as well as George Harrison. But Ringo Starr, in many ways, other being a session player and working on uh, albums that would become big hits for him down the road, he was starting to dabble more and more into movies. And one of the films he put together was probably one of the most underrated spaghetti westerns of the decade. Now, this is a real movie, and if you're kind of confused by the plot... Well, it's a spaghetti western. There is no plot. And any plot holes <coughs> can be driven through, but the enjoyment uh, of it goes in. Now, it's called Blind Man. It's also known in Italy as Il Pestolero Siocco, or The Blind Gunfather. Now, the 71 spaghetti western it was directed by Fernando Baldi and co-written and co-produced by Tony Antony. The film's protagonist, played by Antony, is a homage to... Uh, Ken Shimizu was that uh, Tochi character, a blind transient who does odd jobs and is actually a high-skilled warrior. Now, the film has achieved cult status over the years, mainly due to the involvement of Ringo Starr, again, in, 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 the, in one of the major roles. Now, he plays the brother of the main villain in the movie. Now, this very interesting film, a blind but deadly gunman, is hired to escort 50 mail-order brides or soiled doves or prostitutes to their minor husbands. When he is double-crossed by his friends and a Mexican bandit, he heads for Mexico to settle scores and save the women. And uh, it's a quick film, ladies and gentlemen. Goes uh, 105 minutes. And it had a slight delay release in the U.S. only out the 12th of January in 72. Now, screenplay by was Vincenzo Sarami with Pierre Giovanni Ancisi and Tony Anthony. Anthony did the story. Produced, of course, by Alan Klein, a longtime Beatles associate. Tony Anthony and Saul Swimmer. Uh, again, cinematography by Riccardo Palantini. Edited by Roberto P. Pinegani. Music by Stelvio Cipriani. And, of course, the production company was Abco Films, which, of course... Uh, has been involved with the Rolling Stones and different musical efforts through the years. Now, it's distributed by 20th Century Fox Internationally and Prodosio Atlas Consoriat Pack of Italy in 105 minutes. Now, did a beautiful box office based on a budget of 1.3 million, made 15 million. Now, the, the cast includes as well uh, Magda Conopa as Sweet Mama, Marisa Solnaz as Margarita, Gaetano Scalo as Domingo, Hench, Domingo Henchman, <laughs> great name, and of course Alan Klein as an uncredited uh, fat rifleman, and the Beatles assistant Mal Evans as, the, as a bearded rifleman. Now, uh, the brides include uh, a whole bunch of young ingenues from Italy and, uh, and Western Europe uh, through the years. Now, according to IMDb, which pretty well covers most of the bases with these types of movies, he wrote and recorded a title song for this movie, but Ringo said it wasn't used in the film. It was eventually released as the B-side of his hit, Back Off Boogaloo. The movie was eventually refused a UK cinema certificate by the BBFC in February 72 before being passed with heavy cuts four months later because of intense violence and uh, some nude scenes were more what they call uh, negative in nature. Now, in a short documentary, Looking for Richard, in 2015, Lloyd Batista recalled that the movie's production was the most fun that he and Tony Ante had, had while making a movie, recalling that everything that usually goes wrong went right. Now, in the film, it has the same spaghetti western tropes as most of the, the Terrence Hill and uh, Clint Eastwood movies of the 60s and 70s, but for a lot of people, seeing Ringo on a horse, which was talked about in uh, Fab Four, uh, facts 2.0 that was a big draw to see a very kind soul uh, on a horse with uh, negative intentions now uh, he uh, the uh, Batista noted that he Tony and Sir Ringo Starr would spend her off time at Ringo's private yacht smoking joints in a back alley and eating two dollar or three dollar meals at restaurants that were also frequented by Peter O'Toole and Anthony Quinn now, filming of the movie was briefly interrupted when Starr left uh, the site, uh, a production site, to perform at a concert for Bangladesh. 
because co-producer Saul Swimmer directed the movie version of the concert, while Alan Klein financed both projects. Coincidentally, Batista and Pino Loki, who dubbed Batista in the Italian version of the movie, were at one time the primary dubbing actors for Terrence Hill in the English and Italian versions of his movies. Now, Pedro's asking a blind man if he can sing or play guitar, and to which he responds with no to both, is likely a reference to Tony Antony's unsuccessful and short-lived career as a singer-songwriter. Now, despite the movie's commercial success and the heavily open-ended nature of finale, Tony Antony refused to make a sequel because the blind contact lenses he wore caused him too much uh, discomfort. Now, uh, again, based on the Japanese character of the blind swarmer uh, Zotochi, uh, the movie itself has uh, drawn a lot of interest by uh, various historians about spaghetti westerns and movie fans of Italian westerns. Now, Ringo Starr is second build in the movie, but he is the number three actor. And uh, again, Ringo has a certain look. He looks Portuguese or Italian with the right beard and the right makeup because he has that swarthy kind of Western European look. But uh, for what I saw of the unedited version of Blind Man, he really character carries his character. And just like uh, the man with no name, he doesn't have to say uh, too much to make the plot go. Now, ironically, the international trailers uh, of the movie feature in 1967 Bob Seger single, Heavy Music. The song also appeared in the American trailer for A Stranger in Town and a trailer for Get Mean. Now, Alan Klein likely fostered a creative choice after he acquired the single's label, Cameo Parkway uh, Records. So again, uh, a post-Beatle effort by probably one of the most popular, not only Beatle, but British performers of the 1970s. And you got to understand, everything Ringo, Ringo touched at the time uh, pretty well turned to gold. He dabbled in different types of movies. He had a number of number one singles, either co-written by himself or provided by the other Beatles. He was doing a lot of important session work with all the three remaining Beatles. And, uh, you know, like I said, he was living the life. He had a child who was born in the early 1970s. And although he had some uh, difficulties with drinking drunk, which later kind of passed on in the 1980s, Ringo was an all-around entertainer. Just like Dean Martin was, Dean Martin could sing any type of music, and he could perform any type of acting. I would like to see Ringo star in a John Wayne or a Clint Eastwood movie. It would have been tremendous. But Ringo, John said he had a natural charisma, and that's why he did, did an acting. And if you look at Helped, Help, if you looked at, uh, you know, uh, Hard Day's Night, he carries every movie he's in. Even with Caveman, although it's a shitty plot and uh, shitty special effects. It, uh, it, you know, he made the movie. So, Blind Man, I give that three stars out of five. One of the better spaghetti westerns that probably a lot of people haven't seen. If you can find it online or through a streaming service, please seek it out. But because it's part of, you know, that litigation of Alan Klein and all the different stuff in the early 70s, it might be difficult. But like I said, Ringo Starr and the Spaghetti Western has to be seen. So if you like what we're doing here with our Western uh, podcasts, motifs, or tributes to uh, owners, as we say, let us know with a like, comment, subscribe, share, super chat, and requests are always uh, accepted on a channel and always highly considered. Thanks for listening. Bye.